Okay, the thing is, when Tex says this line, I may process moments and thoughts differently, but it does not mean that I feel any less than you. This line resonates really well with autistic people. It's all of the neurotypical people who are pointing at it going, Look, 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 he's autistic! Yeah, yeah, he's autistic! Great representation! Yeah! It's one, we made an entire video proving he's not autistic, but, and on top of that, when other actual autistic people look at him and try to figure out if he is autistic or not, they don't commit one way or the other, but they do re uh, but they do admit to resonating with what he said. The problem is, is that phrase needs to resonate with everybody. Neurotypical people and neurodivergent. Well, the reason why it resonates with people who are neurodivergent and, uh, but not uh, neurotypical people is because neurotypical, uh, because Neurotypical people tend to process things similarly. Whereas the gap between how you process your emotions from person to person is much wider for a neurodivergent person. The thing is, how you process things is based, in t uh, is based on both nature and nurture. Tech here is an INTP, which means he's an introverted thinker. Introverted thinkers, like myself and Tech, tend to take their emotions and try to analyze them and figure out and try to reason with them. It's, it's, it, it is generally very annoying when we do this because we're trying, uh, because that's how we process things. We're trying to analyze and reason. Whereas Omega here is an extroverted feeler. She's going to wear her, she is going to wear her emotions all over her shirt. <sighs> but when it comes to nurture, a child, uh, well, you get two children. One who was raised by a loving father and one who was raised by an abusive father. If their fathers die, they're going to process the exact same situation completely differently, even if they're the same personality. Well, even if their nature is almost exactly the same. Because their experiences are different. I mean, you, ta uh, you take people, uh, you, ta uh, you take a set of twins that are nearly identical in every way, including personality, and you stick them in front of a crime scene their experiences are going to be different based purely on the fact that one's three, uh, standing three feet away from the scene. Therefore, they're going to see different things. So they're going to process everything slightly differently. Neurodivergent people are fully aware of, uh, for the majority of their lives, that they don't think like everyone else. They don't process everything exactly like every, uh, well, as closely to uh, what everybody else processes. And well, in the same way everybody else processes, but because uh, but neurotypical people have this terrible, terrible, absolutely terrible, really really bad habit of thinking that everybody else thinks exactly the same way they do, which is the problem. That's why this is this scene. Uh, how people respond to this scene is such an issue for me. It's frustrating because. It's supposed to be obvious that people don't think the same way you do, no matter if you grew up in, even if you grew up in the same house and were raised the exact same way. Your nature is going to make it so that you do not process things the same way as your sibling. And that's what my point is.